This is Gadgets Top 321. In today's video, I'm going to give my first impressions of the Platinum 3776 with a medium nib. Now, this is the black, somewhat transparent model with silver trim. And like I mentioned, it has a medium nib. And I just installed the ink cartridge that it came with. This one did not come with a converter, but I've got a silver converter um, that I bought to go with my Platinum Preppy. I've recently, um, as I've tried the 3776 and the Sailor 1911, I've grown to really enjoy this style of pen. Also, I would lump the the Pilot Custom 74 into this same style. It's a little bit different, but pretty similar. And I don't normally get two pens of the same model, but I have, I already have a Platinum 3776 with a fine nib. This one's the medium and I'm really liking this so far. The fine nib um, is um, pretty finicky when it comes to the the type of paper that it's comfortable to use with. The um, It's not a scratchy nib uh, it can be kind of scratchy depending on the type of paper you use it with. Uh, Rhodia, it's, it's pleasant to use, but uh, some paper can be a little, a little unpleasant with the fine nib. Uh, this this nib is fairly smooth. It's not buttery smooth. But I like it. I've heard people compare it to uh, writing with a pencil. Puts down a nice uniform line. The ink keeps up with it. I like it. I think this is going to be my, my go-to. Um, I can see using the fine nib for really small grids in like um, a Hobonichi or a Jibun Techo. I'll probably do some writing samples in those. Actually, this medium would probably be just fine. But so far... I'm liking the medium. The medium seems to be my go-to nib size when it comes to the uh, really fine Japanese nibs like Sailor and Platinum. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.